and we are joined now by the new European Ryder Cup captain, Henrik. Congratulations, first of all. You've checked a lot of important boxes in this game. Major champ, players champ, Ryder Cup player. You've won the season-long races on both big tours. What was your first reaction to being named the European Ryder Cup captain? Yeah, it's uh, I'm I'm very humbled and and very proud to to been given this role. Um, you know, just going back to as a kid, uh, thinking about playing in the Ryder Cup, and then we we managed to achieve that, uh, and, and now we're sitting here as the captain. So it's um, yeah, it's uh, it's fantastic. Henrik, what is the number one role of a good Ryder Cup captain? I think being there for the players, uh, I, I want to be, I want to be a, a, a players captain. Uh, make sure that they, they really feel that, and, and they can, they can contact me at any time with, with any matter, and, and then, um, yeah, we're going to try and, try and assemble the, the absolute strongest, or we, we will not try. We will assemble the, the strongest team that we can for, for the matches in Rome, and we're all very hungry to, to win back the, the cup that we lost uh, last year. Well, things did not go well in Wisconsin, as you know, for Europe. How much was that just a tough week for the Europeans and a great week for the Americans versus having to reboot the system or check for bugs or trying to fix the team? Yeah, I think a combination of things. The, uh, the U.S. team was very strong and they played very well. Uh, our team was, was also good, but we, we didn't maybe come up to the, to the standard that we wanted to. Uh, the stats kind of tell us that. And uh, going forward, we, we're going to have to have to um, both look at the, the new talent that we have in Europe and, uh, and see which ones of, of the more experienced and older players that, that are going to be about. So it's, uh, it could be a case of a little bit of a transformation on, on our side. But uh, as, as you all know, once you, once you pull that jersey on and played for Europe, you don't want to take it off and give it to somebody else. So I'm, I'm pretty sure my, my, older, um, my older and more experienced players, they don't want to give that up. So it's going to be an interesting uh, journey to follow throughout the qualification process. And there was a debrief after the matches at Whistling Straits uh, uh, that involved uh, players, caddies and, and everyone else around the team. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take, the, take the, uh, the feedback from that and, uh, and come back even stronger. Henrik, now that you're the captain, how quick into this do you start the necessary planning? Pairing guys together in random tournaments that don't know a lot about each other, thinking about the golf courses, things of that nature? Yeah, I think uh, we, we got time. Uh, there's a slightly different timeline between uh, the American qualification process. Ours is starting a little bit later, so we got time to, to figure those things out. And, and uh, for me, it will be... It will be about getting to know some of the players that I don't know that well and, and for them to know some of the other players that potentially will be on the team as well. So we're, we've got time on our hands and, and uh, of course, the planning will, will start um, uh, as of today. Uh, I played the Italian Open at Marco Di Simone last September, so uh, I really feel like that, that was helpful um, now given the situation I'm in to, to play the golf course and... Uh, and know what, what awaits us uh, uh, for, for 23. Speaking of play, speaking of play, these days, 45 is still an age where you can compete and win around the world. How will you balance preparing to captain with maybe, just maybe, playing well enough to make your own team? Well, if, if it's 55, that's the mark. I got no chance because I'm turning 46 in, in, in about three weeks. But uh, no, I'm, I'm still very much involved in, in, in the game, as you know, and, and working hard on my game at the moment to try and try and get it back to, to form. And uh, yeah, wouldn't it be that uh, that'd be something if I if I get going during the qualification process to, to make a few of the guys sweat a little bit extra. But we'll we'll see on that end. And, and uh, yeah, I'm just ex uh, really excited for, for the journey ahead. Well, your counterpart, Zach Johnson, is an absolute novice when it comes to Italian wine. I mean, he's a 30 handicap. What plans do you have to mix in some great Italian wine dinners into the run-up? And I'm here to help uh, if you need some help. <laughs> yeah, you want to be there for the testing, do you? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure I can, uh, you know, we, we got expertise on our end. Uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, Miguel uh, Jimenez is only... A phone call away, so I will I will know everything I need to know about Italian wines uh, when when it comes to that. And uh, yeah, it's it's going to be fun. It's it's a new chapter and and uh, and a new experience, and I'm really looking forward to it. 
Henrik, uh, have you thought about considering the way Cam Smith just played about maybe asking him for dual citizenship or see if he could maybe, you know, play for Europe as well as potentially playing on the President's Cup? Yeah, absolutely. I had the uh, the Swedish embassy uh, reach out <laughs> and, and uh, we, we, we're in uh, in big contacts there. So we'll, we'll see how that uh, ends. Now, congratulations to, to Cameron on, on that win. That was uh, that was phenomenal golfing. Yeah, joining you as a players champion. Well, Henrik, it's been fun to watch you play. It's going to be fun to watch you captain as well. Congratulations on this huge honor. We'll speak to you soon. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.